Okay, we are starting the recording now. So recording's on everybody. And yep, thank you. <laughs> so we'll be recording it. Okay, and then we got Sumit join. We'll give it some more time for folks to join. TC. Welcome, TC. Welcome, Nate. Welcome, Darren. All right, so we've got a few more minutes of people to join. Uh, then we'll go through a little introduction and uh, we'll get into the session with uh, Azuka on Point Pay and then an update on the crypto market. It's a Q and A. Welcome Salem. So while we're waiting for folks to join, if you wanna put in the chat box uh, where you're joining us from, and maybe this is your first meetup, please go ahead and do that. So just put in the chat where you are based, where you're located. I'm in Singapore. So thank you guys for that. We're about 10 o'clock PM here. Brooklyn, New York. All right, Shelly. Ohio, USA, Atlanta, Georgia. Got some cousins down there, Darren. UK. Email, put it in, and we will put that information in the letter that's supposed to your parents. Donna, Wendy, yep. Why do you need that buy all right, gotta mute somebody. Am I muting? All right, uh, we got London, okay, yeah, Rockville, Maryland. And okay. in addition to that, not only does Mom need that information, mm -hmm. she will okay. also collect your size. People don't know how to mute. I need to know for you a lot. There it is, got it, okay, all right. So we got Botswana, TC, all right, and Rockville, Maryland, Salem, cool. We're just in London, Donna, everybody. And let's give it another minute or so. And you're already Azuka on the presentation. Yeah, I'm almost ready. Okay. And if you can also note, if it's your first meetup, so yes or no, if this is the first time you join one of the live meetups, obviously for me, that would be a no. Um, if this is the first time that you join, first time, okay, yep. And TC, you've been before, first time, okay, yep, okay, first time. So first time joining us, okay. Second time, okay, welcome back. Uh, I think um, I'm ready now. Okay, you're ready Can to go? Plenty. Yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so you should be able to present. You can go ahead and take over the screen. Um, I'll let you introduce yourself. I'm not gonna get real formal with it. So uh, why don't you jump in? After that, we'll do a quick update on the market, crypto market. And we'll have a general Q and A uh, oh. toward the end here. So you got a good amount of time. Uh, go for it. Okay, hi guys. Uh, my name is um, Azuka Chekuse, and I'm here in London. I've been into blockchain and cryptocurrency for about five years now. 
So currently I'm working with PointPay and PointPay is a centralized um, digital exchange, just like you have Binance and, and the other ones, Git.io. So um, probably I'll just share my screen now so you see what's, what's up. Guys, feel free to put questions in the chat. Sorry to welcome uh, Jones. Feel free to put questions in the chat as we go on here. I'll uh, I'll let you know when those come up. We can hold them until later. Do you prefer okay, to so answer questions as we go? As or we do you go, answer at the end? Okay, yeah. So Point Pay has been um, on for since 2018 when they started the uh, ICO or an initial coin offering. So you know, 2018 was um, just after the hype, the first bubble that burst uh, on the cryptocurrency space so that was when they started their ICO but um, since then they've been building up and um, just currently now we've been able to raise up um, 30 million dollars uh, for the first phase of the ICO for the development and we're currently still selling token um, hopefully that's going to end by um, June the end of June before it's been launched on other exchange so at Point Pay, we have um, it's currently a crypto bank where you can save the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies, and then you can earn yearly yield. So, but, but the, the ecosystem has um, the bank, it has an exchange, it has a wallet. You can also get loans from it. It has a payment system and um, uh, a crypto school where you can learn more about the blockchain and different cryptocurrencies. Um, here is just a little information about the token metrics. 50% um, is being sold, 10% for the team, and 30% um, for yield, banking, and reserve. Also, they have about 10% for high bonuses for users who are buying a, a lot of the tokens. So like I said, just a few days ago, we just um, hit the, the first hard cap of $30 million, and I think that's a very good milestone for us. Um, we keep building the system and um, you can see some of the, our ratings on different ICO sites and trust panels. You know. So the long term, at points we're trying to build an ecosystem that's going to be here for long term, not just the short term like other projects where they are um, just marketing the ICO or what marketing their white paper, but with point pay, the ecosystem is already up and it's working like we have um, mm -hmm. uh, a launch pad where we can also sell tokens for other upcoming projects and all that. So we have the bank where you can get loans and um, if it's being collateralized by your maybe Bitcoin, you have a Bitcoin and you want to get um, a loan so you can deposit your Bitcoin. Uh, after logging, you can deposit your Bitcoin and then you get um, a loan, maybe for stable coin or other cryptocurrencies as well. So um, aside that, the, uh, they have a payment system, like an invoice where you can get, um, you can um, get funds from your clients, the crypto, so you just send them an email and they can use the system to pay for any services that you've been rendered. So it's also a payment system and it has um, a debit card that is already being processed for users in Europe and also users in the UK. So if you're using the, the app, you can get have access to the, the debit card while you don't have to stress in changing your crypto to fiat. So that can be taken care of. And they also... Um, planning to expand these services to America and, and other um, continent as well. And the most exciting thing is they're planning, they're also ask, um, they're applying for a banking license in the state of Wyoming and some other um, countries in the EU. So whichever accepts first is going to be a big push for everyone in the system right now. And so far we've gotten about um, 20,000, more than 20,000 holders who are already invested in this system. And we still keep pushing. We've not even started marketing yet, like the um, main marketing, and we've uh, achieved all this so far since last year till now. And I think it's been, it's been exciting since then. So uh, maybe I can show some of the, this is the exchange. 
where you can trade spots, you can buy and sell Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that, that spot trading, which is still being advanced on. Like I said, we keep um, upgrading the services every day. And by the next, okay, just two, two days from now, there's going to be a price increase by 20, 25% for all the token holders. So anyone who's buying the token now, get to have a 25% increase for the price because we've um, reached our hard cap. So we're still trying to raise funds for future development. That's why the price is going up because there's a huge, um, there's a huge um, um, inflow of users who want to um, invest in the, in the service. So that's, that's all I have for Coinbase for now. If you have a question, then I can take some of them. Hello, can you hear me? Good. Hello, John, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Are you ready for some questions or are you going to keep going? Yeah, I'm ready for questions. I'm just trying to um, get to the live chat. And, uh, so I have uh, one question here. Is this built on top of Ethereum from Marcus? Okay, the, the token is an ERC20 token, but PointPay itself is a centralized exchange, just like Binance is also a centralized exchange, but it's built on the Ethereum um, network. So it's a centralized exchange. You said it, it is or it is not built on top of Ethereum? It, it's built on top of Ethereum because the token is, is an okay. ERC20 token. Yeah. Okay, so ERC20 token built on top of uh, so centralized, just like Binance or Coinbase, yeah? Yes. Okay, and UK based? Not, the team is um, different locations, but it's been registered in um, Russia and also in um, a few countries in the EU. So not just in one country, registered multiple addresses. Okay. Another question we have, what is the ticker symbol for your blockchain? It is on um, the PSP. PSP, point Can you show, is there like a, a listing page or something for the for the token? Okay, I think we're on the coin market card. Let me get that open. One second. So, uh, can you still see my screen? Yes. So yeah, it's been listed on um, Coin Market Cap, but currently the data has not been tracked because. The token is not yet in the exchange. So we're still working to get listed on um, CoinGecko and some other um, services as well. But we've been listed on a lot of uh, ICO listing websites and we have a very good um, ratings as well. So you're currently in the process and ICO now ongoing? Yeah, we just completed the first round of the ICO we just hit hard cap of 30 million. So um, we're still selling the token until the end of June. And we'll, we'll be going live on July. That's when we're listing on different exchanges. Okay. And I know you're invested in uh, the platform. What is the ownership structure? Is it like a, a team or is it, a, how was, how's your ownership structure for the company? So it's like a team. The team has just 10%. So like I said, I work with them. I'm not really um, like uh, big, so I'm a very big investor as well. So I just take the information from the CEO and um, he gives me permission to come on here and uh, tell you guys more about it. But 
Yes, I've been working with them for over seven months now. Okay, and somebody asks, uh, Mike Lowe asks, where will the token be traded? Uh, is it just in point pay? Well, you know, every, every token's goal is to get on Binance and all that big um, exchanges. So but it's going to be traded on the point pay um, exchange and it's going to be also traded in different exchanges because we have plans on listing in other exchanges as well as Binance. Or it's going to be on um, Uniswap and some other um, centralized exchange as well as decentralized ones. What is the current token price, by the way, for the PhD? Currently, it's it's 20 cents, but in 24 in 48 hours, it's going to be um, 25 cents because there's a 25 um, percent increase, price increase, in the next 48 hours. Okay, Mike Lowe, does that answer your question? You can unmute if you want to or just type. And then for, for the token, if you have the token and then you're saving in your savings account, like you have the coin in your savings account, you get to mm -hmm. earn more yield, like daily yields, you earn more coin every day, and then it's added to your, your coin. And also if you have the um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, another coin that is listed in the bank, banking app, you can also earn more of the coin by just keeping your coin in the savings account. So in terms of uh, the rates that you give, I was curious about that. Can you share with us what, what rates? I mean, let's say we put in some, some of the point pay coin or the Bitcoin, what, what rates are we getting with you guys? Okay, just one second, real quick. Uh, let me share my screen so I can show you how it is. But for the point pay token, if you have 100,000 and above, you get 20% yearly, um, uh, Okay, one minute. I'm going to show you that now. Okay. Okay, so this, can you see my screen? Yes. All right, yeah, that's it. Um, for Bitcoin, get and 6.20% APR every year. And then for Ethereum, you get 4.60%. You have the Tether USDT, you have 8%. Um, USDC coin, you have 8%. Um, Bitcoin Cash, 6%. Chainlink, 5%. Ripple, 5%. Litecoin, 6.8%. Tron, 5%. Tether Gold, 5%. DAI, 8%. But for the PSP coin, the amount of tokens you have um, determines the amount of um, bonus you can have. So um, from 100,000 and above gives you 20% APR. From a million gives you about 30%. If you're down between 100,000 and below, you get from 15% um, and, and below. Can you scroll up a little bit? What was the rate on Ethereum? Okay, the Ethereum rate is 4.6%. So how do you guys determine the rates? Um, so is it based on, I mean, what you can trade for and, you know, how, how do you guys determine the rate, the rates on these? Well, I am sure they've done the token metrics. So, um, you know, they get fees from taking out loans and all that for different currencies. So it's already been planned out before and hopefully I'm not sure if that has been discussed already, but they might maybe up a bit or go down a bit, depending on how much um, of users we, we get. So pretty good rates. I think this is really important, guys, to call out. If you're in a bank account, I know in the US, I don't know about the UK, but um, your interest rate is like 0. 0.000001%. Yeah, Basically, you're not making any money at all. Right. So here you can see you're getting 5%, you're getting 8%, 30% in some cases. Um, you're getting pretty good interest rates. Everybody's still there. Um, you're getting pretty good interest rates on your crypto. Uh, and that's obviously the case here. That's also the case for other. Um, but crypto gives you a much better in terms of rate of return. So that's something really important. You should take advantage of that, at least for some of your crypto, if you can. Uh, let's see, we've got Mike, Dr. Jones, let's see, what's the roadmap for e-commerce application 
uh, integrations, API, et cetera. Sorry, I didn't get that. What is the roadmap for e-commerce application integrations, API? So I guess he's asking, what is your platform, uh, I guess, uh, roadmap? Okay, so um, the roadmap has been updated um, daily as well as weekly, depending on how the job has been done. I can go over the roadmap for you one second. Uh, share the screen. Well, we are always planning to partner with um, different um, establishment like we also you can also buy the tokens using your debit card because we have partners like the mercury.io um, so you can buy um, the coin with paypal and, and other um, very easy way to get it okay Like on the homepage of the site, if you can see my screen, we have features that are going to be used and the ones that have just been updated. So basically, we have a plan and more information as they're being communicated to the team members. We always um, put it out in the news, our Medium page, and as well as Twitter. Uh, the roadmap is being updated live, so we have more partnership coming in and more investors also uh, contacting to join mm -hmm. and as that goes on we're also having more legal advice on the best way to improve on the systems and, and all that. okay jones does that answer your question yes uh, I, it's, it's clear for me okay uh, Marcus says Wyoming banking license looks promising. Elaborate, why is it a pro crypto state? So I didn't notice that, but you have a Wyoming banking license, why? And can you tell us more about that? Well, the, um, for the Wyoming, not just Wyoming, we're planning to you know, get a multiple, for multiple states, but depending mm -hmm. on the, the laws they have on each state might be um, tasking and all that. So. We're just planning on which to get easier and which to get first. Like I said, we're planning on Wyoming and then um, Estonia also in the EU. So we're just planning on different locations, whichever goes first. So that can also be used um, worldwide by, all, by the system and all countries. So not just about the Wyoming one. Or uh, there are talks with the legal team and, and, mm -hmm. and the personnel who are processing these already as talking sales is going. Uh, let's see, that was Marcus. Marcus, do you have more on that question? Let's answer your question. Do you have more about that you wanted to know? He's good, okay. Uh, let me go over to uh, KH, when you stake tokens, is this online or offline wallets? Okay, so this text token is, is in a cold wallet. So um, it's been locked up, but you have access to take out your coin anytime you want because it's not locked uh, by you. So you can take out coin three times in a month in the savings account, but anything more than three times in a month, then you lose the KPR for that month. You don't get the interest for the month once you um, withdraw more than three times. So lame, it's crazy. So lame. Okay, I'm not sure if that's a follow up on that question or is someone just not muted. Um, that was who asked that? Let's see, who that who stake? Let me see, Marcus Wyoming. Okay, see where that question is from. Marcus challenge. Okay, I'll have to come back to that one. Um, Marcus asks also, can you stake the coin or are you just giving a 25% bonus? I guess you're talking about the point pay coin, Marcus? Okay, about the 25% bonus is not really a bonus. The price of the coin is going up by 25% in the next 48 hours. Not everyone, any amount you have, say you have $100 um, of it, when the price goes up, then the amount of of your coin it will not be worth 
$125 um, dollars, just so not really the bonus. But if you're talking about bonus, um, buying in the weekend, like we're in the weekend right now, you get a 3% extra bonus when you're buying in the weekend. And then I also have um, a referral link. So anyone who's using the referral link can also get five extra percent for the coin. So that's the, the bonuses you can get as far as so it's just going up because you guys have just kind of set this as a date for it to go up. Is that why? Or why is it going up now? Okay, because, you know, we just meet the hard cap for the token sales and there's still a lot of demand for, for from investors who want to buy. And because, you know, 30 million is not really a lot, a lot of money to move this business say, in the next five years because we're here for a long time and projects like this need a lot of money to keep pushing. You can't expect us to compete with projects like Binance or other big centralized exchange with just 30 million. So that is why we are um, increasing the price and selling more tokens. But the price increase is just a way of saying thank you to the um, early investors who bought in last year, two years ago or so. So that's a way to say thanks for the support. And then that, that's why they're, they're raising the price. I wanted to ask, as you mentioned, Coinbase and Binance, how do you guys compare? So, I mean, what, how would you compare point pay? Are there distinctives, advantages? I mean, what, how would you kind of compare and contrast uh, with, those, with those big players? Yeah, so um, the difference between the point pay and Binance, you know, um, point pay with the app, the app is very easy to use, not as clustered as the Binance app, or when you open your Binance app, you get to see a lot of all different stuff. But, um, the point pay one is just you open your app, you get the, the savings account and the current account. Any coin you have on the savings account, you earn 0 0.000 some, some fraction of coin. You have, if you save the coin in your savings account, you get more yield. And then we have a wallet that's separate from the banking app. We, we have, like I said, we have the exchange where people can also trade coin. So you can say, um, we are bringing up this system to make to onboard new users who are not really familiar in the crypto space. Because I, in this situation, I find that each time I talk to people about buying crypto and I say, they ask me where to buy crypto, I said, go on Binance. When they open it, they saw them say, they don't really know what's happening there. There's just a lot of stuff to click and then they don't know how to go about it. But with Point Pay, we're trying to make this tax very easy, just like you go to. A Madonna shop, you want to buy a burger, you just click some buttons and then your, your burger is ready. That's what we're trying to do. That's the plan of Point Pay to make crypto very, very easy and accessible to, to everyone out there. Okay, great. Let's go over next question we had was um, okay, so it was, uh, that was Cage. Was your question answered on the staking tokens is it offline or online, uh, Cage? Yep. Are these apps only? Yes. Okay. Got it. Okay. Let me go back up here. Darren, what's 25 increase percent increase? I think we covered that one. Uh, Marcus asked, what is the yield? I'm assuming that's the, the rate there, but what is the yield? Are you talking about Marcus APY or? Yeah, I think it's the same thing with the yield. Like I just said, the higher you get for the coin, the more coin you have, the higher percentage you can get, and then the other ones are just um, static for now. It might go up a lot depending on the demand of the user base we have, or it might have to depend. Okay. And Darren asks, is it just a price raise because, oh, just because, okay, so I think you answered that. I think you had said that it was, uh, you're just doing that to reward your early, your early backers. Yeah. Okay raise additional funds. Uh, okay, let's see. Wendy, is the interest rate per annum? I think you answered that, but do you wanna, do you wanna break down how interest rates works? I think a lot of people are not used to this the traditional banking system. Maybe people know that, but they don't know how it works in crypto. Can you maybe, you know, explain it for somebody who's only been doing traditional banks? Okay, so um, I'll, I'll probably use my own account to give you an example. One second so I can show you. But the way it works, 
whichever amount of token you have, let's say I have 100,000 and then I'm getting 20% um, more token in the year. So they get to calculate the 20% in a year and then it, it um, deposit it to me every day, every 24 hours. So, uh, okay, now. So, yeah, so if you can see my screen now, you see um, these are my transactions for the last 24 hours. And um, this is the interest I have in my USDT I have in my account. So it's very low. But if you see for the PSP, the one in my savings, interest end on savings, I actually made 50, 58 more tokens just in the last 24 hours. So the more I earn, it also recalculates how many tokens I have and the number of um, tokens I get every day also increases. So if you see 48 hours ago, I made 58.65 and then 20, just this today one, I earned 58.69. So it keeps yielding and then you earn more. Or if you withdraw from your savings account three times, more than three times a month, you lose the um, interest rate for that month till the next month before you can earn. Nice. Wendy, does that answer your question or do you have more on that one? Wendy? No? Okay. Yeah, yes. So meaning the interest rate is per month, right? The interest rate, the interest rate is yearly or it's calculated and then deposited to the account every 24 hours. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, so it auto compounds. So say you uh, you had a thousand token and you were supposed to get 20%. And then if you get for the one month, it recalculates again and then you start earning more than you already get. So every day you earn more than the, the previous day. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Marcus, is there a holding period? No, there's no holding period. That's why um, when you withdraw more than three times, the interest rate goes down for the month. So you can decide to take your phone out anytime you want. But actually they're also developing a, another system whereby users can decide to also lock their coin. Then if you're locking your coin, you can get even a higher yield. But for now it's, it's free, you don't have, it's not locked. You can take it out whenever you want. And that's how it works. Okay, great. And let's see, answered, answered. Paige asks, are these apps only for mobiles and iPads? Do you also have a web, I guess a web interface? Well, yeah, the, the web interface is what I'm working with right now. So we have the app on iOS and on Android. So it works on all devices. And you can also access, but for the app, you only have access to the banking, just the bank. So if you want to use the wallet, the exchange, they are all currently on the website, but they're building to integrate the exchange and all other platform to the app as well. You have more further follow up on that question, Paige? Does that answer your question on that one, or did you have more on that on the app? No, good to go. Okay, and then you also asked, is there compound interest? Yes, yeah, so if you said compound interest, it's also the same thing as the APR because the, the interest you get auto compound in the account. So if you're talking compound, that means you're earning more. That's why you're earning more every day. Okay. So it's auto compounding in the account constantly, yeah, continuous. Day. Okay. And I wanted to see if maybe you could walk us, is it, can you walk us through setting up an account? How easy is it to do? Can you show us how, let's say everybody here is like, hey, I'd like to set one up now, or, you know, when I get off, how can you show us how, you know, how we would do that? Sure. I'll do that now in my new browser. Then maybe I can um, drop the referral link on the chat just in case anyone wants to sign up and get an extra bonus. 
then um, okay, so let's set up an account. Okay, so the referral link is there, guys, in the chat. So I'm going to set up an account now. I just go, can you see my screen, everyone? Yep. Okay, so I go to sign up. So currently, it doesn't have a KYC. Probably when the government starts having all this regulation and then you can have a KYC, but now you don't need a KYC. Just set up the account and put your two step verification code, and that's it. So I'm going to use an email. Okay, so the account is set up. I just need to verify my account now. So I can verify that for myself. So, Okay, so you're just verifying your email now? Yeah, I'm just trying to verify. Okay, I've been got it now, but um, that's how easy it is. So after it's verified, you just need to go to login and um, I'll still waiting to get the. Okay, I got it now. Okay, so I'm going to verify right now. That's it. Okay, so that's it. It's been verified. So all I need to do now is click so I can um, put a two-step verification on the account. So you can use either the Google Authenticator app or the email. So I'm just going to click email for myself to not stress the, the registration process. So that's it. Um, set up and ready to use the app. Nice, and that's it. So there's no, uh, currently there's no KYC necessary. No KYC currently. No, no, no. And for those of you, I'm not sure everybody knows, it's a know your customer. It's like doing the ID setup, so you don't have to do that. So, okay, uh, we have a question from John Mark. He says, can we deposit with CB? I'm not sure, CB. What do you mean by John Mark, CB? You know what that is? So could you know what he's uh, CB, what he's? Um, I'm not sure that, but you can buy, you can actually oh, buy. credit card, credit card. Okay, so you can actually buy with your credit card, but depending if your um, bank allows um, credit card um, transaction for crypto, 
you can buy with your credit card, Visa card, bank transfer. So we have um, a lot of partners who partner with us to make this payment. So we have Google Pay, Samsung Pay, Apple Pay, and SEPA transfer and all that. So you can actually buy with a lot of tokens or just send in your um, tokens, whichever one is accepted right now, just send it into the app. And then you can see there's a little convert button right here. If you have any token here and then you click on convert, it automatically changes to the, the PSP um, coin. Okay. And I guess along the same lines, is there, uh, how do you people, they want to withdraw, right? They want to withdraw from the account to their you know traditional bank account or whatever it is. What, how do they do that? Yeah, right now that's not being implemented because like I said, we're trying to apply for the banking license and once that is done, and then it's going to be very easy to send from your bank account to the system or from the system back to your bank account. But currently you can withdraw your crypto from a banking app or the exchange back to your traditional wallet, your cold wallet or whichever wallet. Okay. Thank you. Let's see another question in here. Um, KH, does the platform cover by insurance for users if any unfortunate incident occurs? So uh, okay. kind of like, I guess, deposit insurance of some kind? Yeah, so currently that's not been done. And I'm sure the team is um, working on the best option to get some insurance company that can cover all that. So that's that's why we're raising funds. So to cover up all these um, uh, these loopholes and all that. So that is being worked on and I'm sure we're, we're going to reach an agreement with some insurance company very soon. Okay, so coming soon on the insurance, not there yet, but coming soon. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, and then I was going to ask you, is there any kind of, uh, I mean, obviously you're on the team, but is there a kind of an Africa or diaspora connection beyond that as well um, with, with your team? Currently not at all. I'm the only black guy on the team, so I'm okay. trying to push push the services for down all more right. to the African parts. Yeah. Okay, that'd be good. <laughs> all right. And I wanted to also check. So we asked about the deposit insurance. Was there another project that you were going to you wanted to talk about briefly? Was yes, I can just I can just go over that very briefly. But um, this is it. It's called F Tunes. It's a, a musical um, platform for um, independent musicians who do not have record labels or assigned into any label at all. So this, we're actually building an app. Um, it's going to have a music streaming aspect of it, a live streaming and social media. So for artists to communicate with the fans and it has Jade talking, um, also on the Ethereum side, so whereby artists can basically get to connect with the fans, upload their songs, they earn 80% royalties from whatever their content generates, and then 20% goes back to the team of, and develop, developer. So, um, currently, this is in the private and pre-sale phase two. We just completed the phase one where we raised $30,000, and um, we're in the phase two right now. Um, anyone who's buying this one, you get a 40% discount when you're buying. And this one is um, relatively for the black community. So you can see the team, the CEO is um, black and based in, in the US. So for this one, I'm more now into this project because I've helped them um, reach the hard cap for the point pay can keep on going from there. So this one is because it's still relatively new. So I'm putting more of my time here now to make sure we also meet the same success which we did for the point play platform. So this one, this um Earth tunes is going to be say similar to Spotify or YouTube music where you can have all the songs um, and and um talking from your fans in um range of voting or just uh, gifting. So you can give tokens from, from one user to another on the system. And um, also for um, um, 
what they call it, when they're doing these shows, like how they did the um, BET or the um, these award shows, the event centers can also use the app to stream their live um, shows, and then they get 20% of, um, of the commissions as well, if any um, um, live event centers are using the app to stream their, their uh, pro project. Just like we have, um, um, what do they call it, the, um, what is this live show they do all over in Nigeria? That's so anything live shows, I'm just trying to get that into my head. I can't recall. Uh, but if you're doing a show and any event wants to use the app, so people can also view and you can use the app with your VR device. So it works with VR device to stream all these um, HD videos, you can connect with your um, any artists that you love, you can um, follow users and unfollow users. So it just is a, a fun, fun app that's currently in development right now. But the, you know, I don't know if you have a question on this one or if I... Um, so if I understand correctly, it's streaming of music and how does the token work exactly in the ecosystem? I don't know if I got that exactly. Okay, yeah, it's for streaming and music. So the token, it's for the payment. So you can use it for payment, artist payment. It's also going to be in form of NFTs. So it's going to be in form of NFTs. So um, any artist who has their um, digital um, records on the app, you get um, lifetime royalties of 80% lifetime royalties for, for whatever generate from the content and you have um, copyright to all the files or whatever, or your content, you have the copyright with 100%. Maybe it's okay you can explain NFTs a little more. I'm sure everybody's been hearing that term um, thrown around a lot lately. And uh, I'm not sure everybody understands it. So maybe in, in this, can you explain how the NFTs work? Okay, so NFTs, how would I easily explain that to you now? Okay, so let's say NFTs, um, a non-fungible token. Now let's say a gold bar, one gold bar is equal to another gold bar, like they have the same value, right? Now, when we say NFTs that is non-fungible, let's say I have one gold bar and then there's another gold bar, the same size and one of it probably was branded by an artist. So that makes it, um, makes it rare because it's just that gold bar that's been branded by the artist, so it has more value. That's why they say it's non-fungible. There's no no other gold bar that can be exchanged for that because it, it now has more value because of the personalities where I got it from or who gave it to me. So that's the easiest way you can just easily understand like NFTs, but you can track it on the, the terms of NFT in the blockchain it has a unique ID for it. So one piece is different from the other. And then how does that, so how does that apply to your music then? How, how does, how does the music become an NFT? Because the content from the artist, you know, one song you have a record, um, you have an album on the, on the platform. So that also can be exchanged for NFTs it's still being um, built. So I can, I will not be able to show you that now, but that's how it works because each content is also an NFT, is non, is different from another one. And it has, it can have limited number of people who can have access to it or who can own it. So that's how unique it is. That's why the system is also going towards that direction of NFTs because a lot of contents that are going to be there are going to And you guys, you said you're currently raised fundraising. So is this an ICO as well currently? Yeah, we are currently in the pre-ICO. So we've not gone full time into the ICO. This is the pre-ICO and we're in the phase two. Currently the token is sold for one cent per one. And you get 40% um, bonus. We've got the 40% the, the bonus for whatever amount you buy. 
And how much are you guys trying to raise total for, for this project? Well, in, in total, we've not um, decided yet, but when the pre-sale is over and then we get into the ICO, then we'll be able to, to know how much we're raising. But in the total supply of the token is about 90 billion, 90 billion token and 50 percent is to be sold. And then the other ones for the marketing and, uh, and the team and all, all of the useful spending. Is this project or company US based or is it international based? It's, it's a company from the US, but it's international to everyone all over the world. Okay. I guess one of the things I'm curious about is I know we had the big ICO boom back in 2017. Um, I think it became much harder to do them for U.S. companies. I know because I'm from the U.S. Uh, I'm curious. So, so they are still able to do an ICO even even if they are from, based in the U.S. Yes, because the token is going to be a utility token, not a security one. So, it's going to be used by users who want to have access to their artists and their content and all that. So, it's a utility token and also in the form of NFTs as well. So it's different from a security token, just like they're suing the repo company and all that. So it's very, very different from it. Okay. Does anybody have any questions on this one? So this is a different project. This is a African diaspora owned, I guess, is my understanding, that's yes. correct. Uh, and this one is raising funds via ICO. So if you're interested in that, you can raise a question now or you can reach out to Azuka as well. Uh, his contact information, if you want to put that in the chat there. Uh, Salem, John, I have, may have missed this. How does your blockchain benefit the African continent if it does at all? Okay, so I presume they're asking for the um, point pay one? Is that for point pay or for the um, earth tones, uh, Salem? Both. Okay, so um, we know in, in Africa for the um, head tunes, we know in Africa there's a lot of artists who do not have the means to get signed into a record label and all that. So this that's why this platform is being built. It's been built for all independent musical creators or content creators. So they can own their copyrights to whatever um, content they put out there. And uh, it's also helped them go more international and be more visible on like um, other platforms like YouTube, music. But here we'll be actively promoting those content and doing the marketing and all that just to get um, users to get to know them, get to see their contents and all that. And why is it different? Because we're giving out 80% royalties to all the, the content they ever have. That's different from Spotify when you have the content in Spotify. I don't think you end up to 10 or 20 percent, but with J Token and Etienne, we're changing the game on how we do music and live streaming. So you're saying African artists would be able to use the platform, uh, I guess, fund their music, use the token and have access to that. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's it. Because with the token, you can change it back to Ethereum to any token or also um, the currency of your country. So it can be used everywhere as well. Got it. Uh, anything specific for point pay? Okay, so for for point pay, yes. Yeah, so um, point pay, we're trying to build uh, a, a blockchain that is going to be more easier for people to use. Like I said before, the Binance one and the other app. Most time, there's two cluster. When you open the app, you get to see too many stuff. You don't know which to use first or what to do. But we're building something very simple for point pay where you can just open the app and you know, okay, this is my savings account and this is my checking account. If I want to sell, I can just click two buttons and I've swapped from one coin to the other, or I'm swapping from the coin and changing, moving it to my debit card account or to my pound or dollar account and then transfer to my bank account. So we're making this process very easy and say three to four clicks, you must have been able to sell or buy your crypto or move to your debit card or move to your bank account. That's what we're trying to do, just make the system more usable for a lot of on bank people all over the world and not just the Europe or the Americans. We're also 
planning to go time big time in Africa, where we know there are a lot of unbanked people who already have smartphones and ready to use um, these this services. So more access for unbank, which is a lot of Africa, uh, a lot of other parts of the developing world and easier, I guess you're saying as well. Uh, Salem says, I miss the percent return for the artist. I think this is back on the earth tones. Okay, for the artist, you get 80% of whatever your content is generating by the system gets 20%. So they get 80%? Yes. I'm assuming that's higher than other. Yes, uh, very, very high. Other ones, you can't even get up to 50%. I, I, I presume. Okay, and KH says this point pay is based on Ethereum blockchain. If you purchase PXP tokens, do you get, you currently get a discount on gas fees when you're doing transactions on the platform? So for point pay, let's say if you already have your token in the app and you're trying to switch it to other coins, you don't have to pay any fee. The only time you get to pay fee is when you're transferring the token, maybe your Ethereum or your other um, coin from the app to an external wallet. That's when you have to pay the blockchain um, gas fee. Or in the system, then you don't have to pay the gas fee. And you can also send the PSP token from one user to another on the, on the system without paying gas fee. And uh, maybe in the future, I'm sure they're going to develop a system whereby you need to pay gas fee using the PSP token so as to relieve the high gas fee. But we know Ethereum is also working on the gas fee, um, Ethereum 2.0. So I'm sure in the lesser time, the high gas fee thing of the past. So, I, mean, I was looking at the question, but so there, there's not a discount per se on gas fee. Am I getting that right? For now, no discount because if you're sending your token to the exchange, then you just need to pay the normal um, Ethereum gas fee. But if you're using, say you're using your coin to buy the PSP token, you don't need to pay the gas fee because it's already on a centralized exchange. So you don't need to pay the gas fee. Okay. That answer the question, Gage. Okay, Nate says, where and how can we invest in Jade? Okay, um, Nate, uh, you just need to go on the Jade website. I can also maybe give the referral link, or you can just register directly and use the purchase. Like you can see here, there's already a purchase um, button. So if you click on it takes you to the buy page, or you can also contact me directly and then I'll give you an easier way to buy it. You just have to send the funds to the CEO's wallet and then you get the token and you can probably get an extra bonus because it's coming from me. So that's, that's another way you can get it. But the buy in the, in the home page is already working. It's all automated. So you can pay with PayPal, um, USDT, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. So it's on the site. Do you want to leave a link in the um, in the chat there so people can reach the site? And then also, uh, someone's asking for your contact as well. Okay, the uh, they can get me on Telegram and probably ask to give my email. Whichever one is better, or my phone number. One second, I'll just uh, Hey, other questions while he's putting that in the chat box on Jade or on uh, Point Pay? Definitely encourage you to reach out and uh, if you have questions and also definitely support the uh, the projects and certainly Earth Tones or Jade, which is a uh, African diaspora owned, which is great. So 
you know, put his chat information in the chat there. Any other questions? Hey, Azuka, while you're putting that in the chat box, anything else you want to wrap up on this point before I go into our, our market update? Okay, so I'm just going to say anyone who wants to take advantage of this right now should, um, you know, um, do a little bit of a research and then don't really have enough time to waste, especially for the point pay one, because the price is increasing by 25%. You might want to be among the users to take advantage of that. Or I'm saying um, these projects, I don't just support any project because I want to support them. I really do a lot of research and um, I'm always here in projects for long term. So I'm sure of um, putting more contribution to make sure the, the, the company go forward. Uh, I'm just saying anyone who's investing in point pay should just check out the, the, the um, stake on Binance. Binance is just here for, for four years. And then they've done amazingly well. They've um, gone up more than um, two million percent, or if I'm if I'm, if I'm wrong, two million percent in profit. So we are classifying point pay as the next Binance, or even bigger. And we're creating all this from the ground to the top. So um, don't be left out. Be sure to join the revolution of blockchain technologies. That's what I would say. Yeah. Liv says, do you have a summary on these two? Okay, so a summary on both projects. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, in summary of um, the um, Point Pay, so Point Pay is a, a blockchain bank built on the Ethereum um, network. Um, we have a uh, a savings and a checking account where users can earn high yield from, different from all other um, services. They have one of the best yield um, around in the blockchain space. And we have a 25% um, price increase in the next 48 hours. So please do um, go and check it out and take advantage of it. And for the Ectunes, Ectune is going to be the next revolution of blockchain music app and it's designed for independent artists and content creators out there. So um, make sure to do your research. Don't formally into any coin without doing your own research. Um, if you need more help, you can always um, contact me on Telegram or on my email, and I'm always here to help anyone who has issues in the blockchain space. I'm always um, ready to help anyone. That's what I can say for now. Thank you very much, John, for giving me the time. And I think there was another question. Give me a second here. Uh, we also have, when would the ICO be for the Jade Network? Okay, so um, from the pre-sale, it's going to, um, we're going to kick into the, the ICO any moment from now. So this stage, we are on the stage two right now, we're raising um, $150,000. And uh, I think we've even gone half already, halfway already also. So um, probably in the, the week, coming weeks, we can get into the ICO fully, but for now the pre pre-sale, that's what we are in right now. So you can also take advantage to get the high bonus, which is the 40% bonus for whatever coin you buy right now. Um, that's the difference from getting in now in the pre-sale or, or getting in the ICO, get more, more bonus. Okay, does that answer the question, uh, John Mark? Great. And Liv, uh, your question on the summary, are you okay there? Yeah. Uh, oh, you can hear me. Oh, yes. okay. Uh, yeah, do you have uh, just a, a couple links on summaries for the Jade network as well? Or is that part of it, Earth Tones when you log in? Sorry, I didn't get that. Can you go back again? Okay, is, is Jade part of Earth Tones? And you can purchase the jade once I log into the Earth Tones, or okay, if I got it correctly, jade is the sticker for the coin uh, for the Ethereum uh, platform. So Ethereum Jade is the name of the coin for the okay. website and everything. It's called Ethereum. So would I would I get started inside of Earth Tones to be able to purchase jade? 
Yes. Well, okay. once you're logged into the website, you can be able to purchase it. And if you're having any issues, then you can just message me. Okay. And uh, maybe you want to buy it in the more simpler way. I can just give you the um, the um, um, Ethereum address or the Bitcoin address, and then you send the, your crypto there, and then your coin will be deposited in your account when you get your login. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions about either uh, Liv, more, Liv, other one on that? Mm -hmm. If what? Was there additional question? Okay, good. Any other questions uh, on either Earth Tones or on uh, Point Tone? So I just placed my um, email and my Telegram um, username and as well as my Telegram community. So anyone who wants to join can um, join and then you can message me anytime you have any issues on cryptocurrencies. I'm always there to share information. Great. And Jones, uh, Dr. Jones says, uh, great presentation. Looking forward to support these projects and to share in the networks, Mindfulness Media and uh, WealthFest Africa. So. Uh, that'd be great. And I know those networks, so definitely check those out also in the chat. Okay, very good. And uh, any other closing comments on this one? As we can, maybe you can take us into the market update. I, I know you keep up on everything. So before okay. I, I go to that, do you want to kind of transition this over? Okay, for the market updates today, um, you know, Bitcoin has just been stable for the last 24 hours. It's not really done anything. I can share my screen with the price mm -hmm. um, charts. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. So Bitcoin has been just there, not gone up for the last 24 hours. It's just there. But the thing is, I think we're building up momentum for the next push. Or all way leads up. And with the kind of bullish news we've been getting, a lot of companies are now adding more Bitcoin to their um, ledger. So it's, it's really been good and been stable from the dump, the last dump that, that happened up to well, the 54,000. I don't think we're going down anymore. And it's been really bullish with what we've seen, with the news I've been seeing and the charts I've read for the week, I think Bitcoin would see, maybe, let's say before the close of, on the start of next week, we can be at 60K. That, that's how, the, the, because if you see how the, the movement has been forming some, some nice patterns. I don't know. So we're at 57,000 right now? Yes, we're at 50, 57,100. And yes. So all I know, the, the market has been good so far for the week. So everything, everyone is going sideways, but the, the bigger odds have been pumping. So it's Uniswap, they are all going up. Litecoin, 3%. This 4% in the last 24 hours. Polkadot, 2%. Cardano, 5%. And well, it's been good, but I do more of um, the DeFi space, yield farming and all. So I've uh, been really out of the Bitcoin and all that stuff. I'm just going more into the yield farming and farming more tokens and all that. And it's been very, very profitable in the yield farm. So anyone who wants to make a lot of money or make at least a decent profit, they should be looking more on the decentralized yield farms. That's where you can get more to double up on your Bitcoin and your Ethereum. Oh, I think we can take it from here. Okay, so I'll make a couple of points that I think are pretty, actually live on one other question. Can you include the bank information too? Um, which bank information, Liv? Sorry, I may have misunderstood. I thought that he said there was a bank account that you could get a higher interest yield on for the Bitcoin, but I may have misunderstood. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, that is the, the point pay app when you're saving your Bitcoin or Ethereum so you get to have high yield up to 60 cents a year if you have <laughs> your, the Bitcoin or Ethereum or, yeah, when you're saving it there. Okay. Gets high yield. Is that the one you're asking about? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to share a link that you can register uh, use the referral link. So you can check it out. You can also go over to the website or via the app to read more about it. Maybe if you have any other questions, you can message me privately or don't mind to share more information with you. Perfect, thank you. All right, so going on the market update, good there. Um, I think some of the key points I wanna add on here, um, Bitcoin, a lot of companies are adding it to their treasury, meaning they're buying it up for their company. So we've got, um, you know, obviously Tesla and MicroStrategy and a lot of these companies, but there's a lot of other companies who are doing it quietly and they're not telling people. Um, you should definitely try to have some Bitcoin. You don't have to get a whole one. You can get, you know, 10% of a Bitcoin, 5% of Bitcoin. Just hold that, you know, just make sure you have some, right? Because we... We don't know how high this is going to go in the future, but I suspect it's going to be pretty high, um, at least if we look at the stock to flow model that's there. So make sure you have some of that. Ethereum has been doing really well, right? So Ethereum's been really bullish. Um, $3,500 now, right? It was not too long ago, it was just 2000 So this is, it's really been moving, right? So Ethereum, um, it's supposed to go to deflationary, I think in the second half of the year, meaning they're going to start changing the... Uh, I think the mining and also they're going to start moving, trying to move it to the stake and do that for a while. But what that means is that it's going to start being less and less in supply. And then that means that the value will continue to go up for that reason. So Ethereum, good project. Again, you don't have to get a whole coin. You can get parts of a coin, right? This is not necessary to get whole ones. Um, and Binance coin, which I guess would be a competitor for point pay. Uh, they have a lot of projects. They've been going up quite a bit. They've listed stock um stocks on their exchange now as well um very similar though to what you saw point bay to the point pay today um and so the token has been doing very well for them dogecoin um many of you know elon musk is on saturday night live on saturday i don't think that's the only thing driving the price but that is one thing driving the price um but that's up for like earlier this year remember it was like five six cents Okay, so it's up 10x at least this year, I think more possibly, right? If we look at Dogecoin, actually, I could probably share my screen. I'm looking at it, but you guys aren't. Give me a second. Okay, so Dogecoin is up probably 10x for the year. Uh, and a lot of people have been kind of going, going back and forth about it. It's kind of a fad. Um, you know, obviously, it was a meme coin to start with, and, you know, nobody's really serious about it. But the fact of the matter is that it's sometimes projects like this that actually end up becoming very valuable. So you can see, if we look at the beginning of the year here, uh, we were sitting at, wow, well, not even a penny, okay, not even a penny. So now we're sitting at 60 cents. And if we see a lot of companies starting to say they're gonna accept Doge for payment or they're gonna transact in Doge, uh, there's a good possibility it's gonna continue to climb. My expectation, I'll let uh, Zuka see if he has any thoughts on this, is that probably Doge is going to go up with the Elon Musk Saturday Night Live. It's probably going to drop a little bit after that. And then it probably will continue to keep on going up, my opinion, um, if people keep on, you know, using it and, you know, using it more. I don't know if you have any take on Dogecoin, Azuka. Well, um, I can tell you the hype of Dogecoin has really gotten everybody here. Yeah? But I personally haven't got any bags yet, but I'm still very, very looking out for it. And um, yeah, I started watching it when it was still in a few cents and um, the growth has just been um, amazing so far with the tweets from Elon Musk and all that. Um, it's been going good. I actually wanted to buy some, but then the funds, I just moved it to another project. I don't know, probably you guys must have heard of it. It's called FEG, FEG token. So they're actually having an exchange and um, the exchange is also being built, for, built from the top um, down top and they have a bond mechanism whereby anyone who's buying the token you have to pay three percent tax and then 
1.5% is bond, and then the other percent is distributed to web users on the network. So mm -hmm. that's where I'm currently in, but I'm still looking for a good position to get into the Dogecoin. Um, and then I'm going to hold for a very long time. But so far, with the help of Elon Musk, it's been very, it's doing very well. And it's, it's actually a coin for everyone to hold. At least just hold a bit of, of it. Yeah, and also Mark Cuban from Shark Tank. I think he's been pretty pretty big on Doge, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks as well. So yeah, I'm planning to hold it for a, at least a longer period, at least probably like a six to 12 month period. Um, okay. And we'll see how it does. I mean, it's it's up a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's number four coin in the market now. And it was, you know, it was nowhere serious like six months ago. So this is a big change. Um, XRP is currently still finishing up their lawsuit with the SEC, but I, I kind of think it's a win-win for them, honestly, right? So if they lose, I think they win because they'll just pay a fine and then it's over, right? Most likely. And if they win, well, they win because they win. So I, I kind of suspect that it's kind of a win-win for that, for XRP. Um, not that I'm telling you they need to buy it, but just telling you where that is with the SEC lawsuit. The other thing that's really big for Bitcoin right now is that we are seeing that I think in June, um, several hundred U.S. banks are going to be able to, are going to start basically doing exchanges for Bitcoin. Um, they're going to, you know, allow people to do Bitcoin purchases. I forget the name of the, of the platform they're using based out of New York, but that's a big deal. That means that, I mean, I'm sure many of you maybe have had like somebody in the family who's like, I don't understand how to get Bitcoin. I don't get it, right? Now they can just go to their bank and they can go, oh, I'd like some Bitcoin. And the bank will get them Bitcoin. Now, I probably won't be getting it through the bank, but a lot <laughs> of other people will, right? So that is going to put a huge amount of money pouring into the Bitcoin market. Um, probably starting in June, July. And obviously all the traditional banks almost will be in the market too. So I, I'm expecting some pretty big, uh, pretty big movement in Bitcoin because of that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have any thoughts on that one. Yeah, for, with the open up of the, the banks to Bitcoin, like I think the bank of um, the US AA bank where they have Bitcoin services for their users in the US. And um, um, is it the um, JP Morgan and um, one other one? So I think it's a good news. It's, it's um, a win-win for everyone. Like you, everyone can access the Bitcoin very easy, it pushes up the price. So let's see if Bitcoin can get to the um, market cap of gold or we can even get to six trillion. That's half of it. That would be very good for the ecosystem and the whole um, cryptocurrency space as well. Because the more Bitcoin goes up, the more other coin can also go up. That's a great point. So the more Bitcoin goes up, guys, it pulls the whole market up with it, right? So a lot of people are like, oh, I like this coin, I like that coin. The bottom line is this. Bitcoin is so dominant even now that when it goes up, the whole crypto market is going to go up with it. So if you have Chainlink or coin number 575 or whatever coin you've got, there's one called the scam coin or whatever, whatever coin you've got, okay? Um, it will go up most likely because Bitcoin goes up. So keep that in mind, right? So as we start seeing probably some price action with Bitcoin because of all these banks taking it on and making, that will probably drive up the entire market in a very big way, probably come another month or so. Mm. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, we got Cardano, which of course they got a lot of projects going on in Africa right now. Price is up again, that's good. So they've been making some moves there. Stellar, where is Stellar? Yeah, number 15. Stellar is kind of like the cousin of Cardano. Um, seems like whenever Cardano goes up, I think Stellar kind of makes some moves too. They also been doing a lot of stuff in Africa as well, actually. Um, Polkadot, I, got, I picked up a little bit of that. Uh, nothing much with Bitcoin Cash. And so usually I stick to projects that I like outside of the top 10 or 20 and then the top 10 or 20. Uh, personally. And of course, I like the staking, like Azuka was talking about, where you can get five, six percent, uh, or, you know, maybe sometimes eight percent, or if you get, I guess, the, the PXP token, 30 percent, right? So you can get some pretty good interest. Um, and it, you can get some pretty good interest on your uh, coins if you go ahead and put those on a platform of CoinPay or Binance or Coinbase or any of those, BlockFi, right? If you use any of those platforms, you can get, uh, 
some nice interest on your on your crypto. Okay, so that is a good thing, especially because you're not getting anything in the banks right now. Okay, um, I think that's the top of the news here. NFTs, I think they're, I don't hear about them as much anymore, but I think it's still going on, right? Binance has added NFTs. Um, obviously, the platform uh, or tones that you talked about this because it include, incorporates NFTs for music. Uh, so that's still happening. I think it's going to mature a little bit and then people are going to start to, you know, see more use cases where they're able to use it more. Uh, so we definitely see some stuff happening there. Ethereum Classic keeps going up. I don't know why, but it's going up. <laughs> so, MicroStrategy micro bought a lot of it. Did they? Yeah. Okay. All right. So Ethereum Classic, I think sometimes people, it also seems to go up. If Ethereum goes up, I think people are actually... Kind of, you know, there's still kind of a connection five, with the two. It was five dollars just a few months ago. Now it's one hundred and thirty-five dollars. Let's really check over that chart right here. Uh, so you said, what was it? Nine days. All right. So, wow, really? Eleven dollars. Wow, that's it's a big increase. So it was sitting around ten dollars, down one hundred thirty-five, like a thirteen x, right? Thirteen, thirteen and a half, fourteen x in the last three months. Wow, it's pretty good. Okay, I didn't realize Ethereum Classic was moving that much. So a lot of projects like that, you're going to get Ethereum Classic moving up with Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin Cash by moving up with Bitcoin. Um, a lot of the forks those often move up when the when the main project moves up. Bitcoin Cash is actually pretty high for price too. So that was a fork from Bitcoin. Um, some love it, some hate it, because a lot of times people were trying to say that that was the Bitcoin project. Um, so it created a lot of confusion in the market, right? But it looks like it's been it's been going up pretty well too. Okay. So the markets overall, if I were to give you the top, you know, kind of trend here, it's up. That's that's really the trend, right? And I think that as we hit the middle of the year and all those banks start coming on board for purchases, um, my expectation is it's gonna be a big up, right? For the whole market. Yeah. Very huge. Uh, let's look at any other points there and let's see if there's any other questions here we got. I have a question. Yeah. Sorry. So are you recommending, like you're looking at this list, right? The top 10 coins to invest in? or you do the research and actually find out about the projects of each. I mean, is there like a recommendation list? Oh, cause I have Bitcoin. I haven't purchased any of the other ones. So I'm kind of curious It's like, okay, what would be your recommendations to invest in in all the other um, coins? Okay, so not investment advice. I'll let- <laughs> so Not investment, advice. but what's but, your um, my, What, what what's I your like, I can tell you what I like. What you like, <laughs> so, what you like? What I like, what I what like. like. Not, don't, don't say John told me to buy this, don't do that. I'm not going to do that, John. <laughs> All right. So um, usually you want to have some Bitcoin and Ethereum as far as I'm concerned, like a gold and silver, okay. right? Okay. Have those, uh, have at least some of that in your own, um, in your own cold storage, like on a ledger or Trezor or something like that. You can put some on a platform like Point Pay or whatever you're going to use to get a little bit of interest on some of it as well. Uh, but that's a long-term play, right? So you're, you're looking at that for for the longer term, for years, not you know, not months or weeks. On the other hand, if you look at a coin like let's say a Dogecoin or a Cardano, um, those are going to be shorter term plays potentially for you because you might see 20x. I mean, look, if you would have bought Cardano, let's look at it. If you would have bought Cardano a little over a year ago, I think it's up like 40x. Let's take a look here. Wow. So the one year on Cardano. Uh, one year ago, it was five cents. It is now a buck 71. Help me with the math here. What is that? 10, 20, uh, 30. I got to divide it. Uh, quick math on that. Where are we at? That? So we're about 34X from a year ago, okay? So if you wanna make some quick, quick, quick gains, you wanna pick up some of the lower coins, lower in price, like uh, Cardano, uh, which I like, 
Um, XRP depends on that court case, but I think it's probably gonna work out. Dogecoin, um, any of the lower price coins like that, a dollar, you know, that kind of thing, you have some pretty good upside potential there, right? Yeah, there's like um, the bit token for the BitTorrent, BitTorrent um, power transfer system, they also there, you can get some. You see it? Yeah, just go down a bit. Uh, yeah, that's it, number 35. Yeah. What do you like about this one? Because um, BitTorrent is a file transfer system where users can upload um, different files, music, um, software, um, videos, and all that. So um, just some few months, years ago, um, Tron bought the system. So they developed the token for it. Mm. And so now the token is used as a utility token on the the server so if you have, if you want to get a faster download speed then you get to have some of the coin to increase your, your download speed so it's a really good use case for it that's why it's it's here at number 35. i've heard a lot of good things about projects so i've been following closely but i do know big torrent so interesting um so here's the possibility looks like this has definitely gone up with the market really gone up Okay, and that's obviously less than a penny. So if you want to stock up on those uh, and you feel good about the project, if I may, I may get some of myself. Uh, how does it? How does the BitTorrent token work in the network though? I mean, does it actually have have utility? Yes. So if you hold the the, the coin, um, you get to increase your download speed. Like, and you know, your it's a decentralized server where people can upload and download files from different users. So, for you to have a faster download, you can't just be pulling content from other people's servers and all to slow down their work. But then, with the um, bit token, then you get to access faster download from each user. So you get to spend this token, and then you get faster um, download speed. Okay. And it's also a way well, for you to pay for the premium as well on, on the server to get premium access. So that could be a possibility. It's about number 35. Um, generally speaking, Shelly, I like I said, I, I typically look at the top 20. If there's specific projects I like uh, that are further down that I know the project, I'll probably possibly pick that token up as well. Uh, but I do my research. If it's outside of the top 10, top 20, I'm going to do some serious research before I purchase it, honestly. Um, so like I said, you know, you want to get some of those lower price projects for like the shorter term gains, like six, 12 months or less, um, where you can make a good multiple, maybe make some, you know, make some, you know, cash that you can live on or cash that you can reinvest or just take out your initial investment, right? Keep your Bitcoin, keep your Ethereum, keep those longer term. If the stock to flow is correct, we're looking at possibly a million dollar Bitcoin in the future, right? So the last thing you want to do is sell it at 75K or 100K, right? Keep it, you know, you can borrow against it if you really want to or do whatever you can do. I think point pay. You guys do loans? For point pay? Yeah. Yeah, we do loans. You can actually take loans against your Bitcoin or against your USDT, whichever way. And um, yeah. So I actually tried out the system and it's very easy to take out loan. I, I have some of my Bitcoin on the loan right now. So I deposited a thousand five hundred dollar Bitcoin and then I was able to assess a thousand dollars um USDT. So payable in five months, but because I have a lot of PSP token, I get to have reduced um, interest rates. So for um, lending a thousand dollars, I'm paying about $46 as the um, interest rate for, for five months. That's what 0.046% of something happened. So that's less than 1%, is that what you're saying? Yes, I guess. So the more, just like I said, the more of the token, the PSP token you have, you have a lot of utility to use it on the website. So you get lesser interest rate for loans, you get more interest for the APR and a lot of other stuff. And then that interest though, I assume goes to point pay, right? You're not paying yourself, you're paying. Yeah, you're point going pay. to point pay. Okay, nice. So uh, that's something else to think about. DeFi is really exploding right now, uh, which is all these decentralized finance options like PointPay, uh, like BlockFi, like Coinbase, like Binance, et cetera. 
right? This is where you can get interest on your coins, Exodus, you know, you can actually stake some stuff in the Exodus wallet. I do some of that there as well. Uh, and you get some good interest on it. And if you want to move stuff around, um, I use USDC, USDT, uh, which is a, a stable coin. That's not an investment, by the way, guys. That's just a stable coin. <laughs> not going up. It's going to be a dollar. But um, you can get interest on it. One of the things I like about it is as far as taxes go, for those who are in the U.S., um, you don't really have to worry much about taxes because it's a dollar when you take it in. It's a dollar when you take it out. So the capital gain is zero. Okay, so there's no capital gain, really. You're just moving. You can just get some interest on it as long as you don't get too many fees moving it around. Okay, so I like the, the stable coins. In fact, frankly, it's getting to me to be better than a regular bank account because of the, I can actually get interest on those coins. I can't get any interest on my bank account. Okay. All right, I'm thinking if there's any other trends. I, I think it's really watch what happens in the middle of the year when those banks start coming on. Um, we're probably looking to see a pretty big explosion in the crypto market. There's a lot of companies that every day are buying up Bitcoin. You always hear people say, hey, pay us in Bitcoin, pay us in Bitcoin. Because all these companies want your Bitcoin, okay? That's why. That's why they keep telling you to pay in Bitcoin. Uh, so number one, don't pay them with your Bitcoin. <laughs> and number two, um, and number two, um, make sure you realize that even if they don't tell you, they're, they're acquiring Bitcoin, okay? They're all acquiring Bitcoin. Let's see, we got some questions in chat. Microsoft bought, um, Darren, I think that's MicroStrategy. You mean MicroStrategy or did Microsoft buy? I think MicroStrategy bought a lot. He's the, um, the lead um, in investor in Bitcoin, I guess. Okay. All right, Greg Harrison, if you receive interest on your coin, do you still control your keys? Good question. You want to take that one, Chicken? Um, you know, like um, um, using any centralized exchange, not your key not a coin but if you're having the good interest rate and then you actually trust the platform then you can give it a go but you shouldn't put in all your bitcoin in the platform just to get the interest you should make sure you have some in your your private wallet and keep it safe that's another thing you have to do yep absolutely yeah so i i think that's a very key point again we talk about not your keys not your crypto um, you can stake some, but I, I would never stake all of my crypto on exchange. If anything happens, Lord forbid, to that exchange or whoever you're working with, you know, even the best of intentions, you know, there's nothing much you can do. So you want to make sure you keep some or even a majority in your own, especially your Bitcoin, your own, in your own uh, cold wallet or your own wallet. Okay. Uh, let's see. Salem says, can you talk about good platforms that have lots of coins and have lower exchange rates? Um, I think uh, the um, crypto.com app has a lot of coins where you can earn from. And also if you have the crypto.com coin for taking for six months, you get a um, get, yeah, debit card. So crypto.com is one nice option, as well as the Binance. Binance, you can also stake a lot of your coin there. You can earn from 10% up to 25% on different coins. And yeah, point pay as well. Point pay also, you can stake. We have about eight different coins right now, and we're still working on integrating more. So um, uh, as well as the other ones. Uh, I don't really know, but I know those three, is, uh, those three are the ones I use more of the time, the centralization. So. Um, um, blockchain, you can also earn um, interest in the blockchain app, that works as well, and um, a little in Coinbase, Coinbase doesn't really have a, a lot. Yeah, so Coinbase is publicly listed, I think they're kind of like the gateway for a lot of people, especially in the US, but in other places yeah. as well, um, to come into the crypto, they're fairly easy and they're connected to US banks now, so they're very regulated, um, so that makes them kind of a you know, a very, a very central point, I guess. Um, I was also going to mention, um, so you already mentioned Binance, I believe, obviously you talked about point pay, uh, CryptoCom. I like Exodus. So the Exodus has a wallet. I think they actually did an I, initial IPO as well, but they did direct, I think, through their wallet. But you can exchange like, I don't know, like 50, 100 and something coins or something with other coins in that wallet. So I do that a lot actually, right? If I want a coin, I want to exchange another coin. I exchange it there. 
fee is not high, so I can make I can make very easy exchanges, and it's in my own wallet, which which I like, right? So it's my own wallet. I don't have to send it to somebody. I don't know what they do behind the scenes, but it's in my wallet, right? So um, I like that in Exodus, um, and then I think in Africa, a lot of people have been using Luno. I've I've never used it. I think for my cousins. Yeah, friends. I think it's very popular in in Africa. Luno is one of the leading ones in, over there. Okay, so there's quite a few. BlockFi, I'll talk about, it's not an exchange, but they're they're backed by the Gemini Exchange, which is the Winklevoss twins, the guys from the Facebook movie, if you remember them. Okay. The ones who, yeah. So uh, BlockFi is backed by them. They're like the most regulated crypto, I think, in the market, right? They're, they're, they're so regulated, it's ridiculous. But if you want something that's so regulated, I mean, they're going to give you a tax statement at the end of the year, that'd be the one. Okay, they're, they're, they are the regulated as well, or, you know, a place to put it, but yeah. In the U.S. anyway. Okay, um, Salem, did I answer your question? Yes, cool. All right, Shelly, you're welcome. Uh, Kenny, hey, I'm in Rwanda. Most blockchain platforms are not legal yet. I'm having a hard time finding one. I use local Bitcoins now, but I can't keep the coins apart from Bitcoin. Do you recommend any other platforms in my region? So. I would say Dr. Harnett, if you have Dr. Harnett, so we do. Um, I think she's based in Rwanda and she uses up each Foro. I, I don't know if that's because she was from Germany or she can do it in Rwanda, but maybe you can check out each Foro. I'm not, I'm not nuts about that platform personally, but I think they maybe make it hard for you to take your, your coins off of there, but uh, I think that may work there. Um, I don't know. Uh, do you have anything else there? No, you can still um, buy your coin off um, localbitcoin.com and then you save it in the, blo uh, in the blockchain app because on the blockchain app, you also have the key in case you lose your password and all the stuff. Yeah, and you can swap some um, fair amount of coin as well. I don't know if the exchange is open for users in Rwanda, but we also have an exchange where you can trade Bitcoin and other coin as well. I think they have up to 15 or to 30 pairs that you can trade together. So. And you buy off localbitcoin.com, you save on the blockchain app, or you just get a, a ledger and save them there. You might want to check and see if you can access Luno. I'm not sure if that's available in Rwanda. By the way, you said that it's not, uh, most blockchain platforms are not legal yet. I mean, do you mean that they're just not allowed to operate in Rwanda? What do you mean by that? Kenny. And Kenny can also use Binance, Binance pair to pair in case you're buying, because there you have to put in your KYC and then the person you buy it from also have the KYC. And that's also a way for you to easily buy and sell. You know, Binance also has a decentralized exchange in Africa as well, I believe. So uh, the decentralized exchange is a little more complicated to use, but you keep everything in your own wallet um, and then you just connect to it to make the exchanges. Um, so you may want to look into the Binance. I think they call it DEX, decentralized exchange. That may be a possibility for you as well. Kenny, does that answer your question? Can you tell us any more about the situation in Rwanda or is that, are you good? You still there? See you. I've been to Rwanda once. It's a very nice, a very nice place. Yeah, I'm looking forward to visiting there coming up too. All right, Kenny, I, I'm assuming we've answered your question or you're just processing it, so <laughs> let's keep going. Um, okay, um, I think that's where the market is. So don't give people your Bitcoin. I'll give one more story, right? Um, back like whatever, 10 years ago, that was when they were just getting the market started, so it had to happen. But, you know, somebody bought a pizza for 10,000 Bitcoin. Um, so that pizza today, 60 million, I don't know. 7 million, let's check it here. 10,000 Bitcoin, we're at 57 to 90. So that pizza cost $572.9 million. Okay, so you don't want in two or three years to go, you know what? I bought some Starbucks with my Bitcoin and now that Bitcoin's a million dollars. You don't want that to happen. So don't go buying a bunch of stuff with your Bitcoin. I'm just, just, just a note, keep your Bitcoin, Keep your Ethereum most likely, maybe stake some of it, get some interest. And, the and other that, coins are the ones you can make some money. the Binance from. coin. Everyone might as well keep their Binance coin because Binance is also going to do, do a lot of, uh, of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Binance coin has been going up. 
kind of gold, silver, bronze at this point, apparently. Doge is a doge. <laughs> there it is. All right, any other questions, guys, before we wrap this thing up? That's our market update. Markets are looking good. Um, crypto is getting fully integrated, which is great, right? And that's good for us and obviously good for African diaspora as well because that's a lot of financial inclusion. Anybody can access this stuff and I like these open blockchains, right? So that's what we want to see more of. Any other questions, guys, before we wrap it up? Cool. Let us know if there are other topics or presenters that you'd like to share. I want to thank you, Ashoka, for uh, how can people outside ABBA get in touch with me? Uh, just go to the meetup group. Oh, that was just for me. Okay. Anyway, just go to the meetup group. Um, and I'll also share my email address with everybody here in a second. So most of you should already be in the Telegram group and the meetup group, but you can also get me at Dale Coral at Auspicious, what, right? Blockchain.com, my email address. And you can also find me on LinkedIn as well, and Facebook and everywhere else. Okay, so reach out. Uh, same subject as a way of buying Bitcoin in Africa and keeping it in a hard wallet in Europe as a means of transferring money without bank charges. Well, you're gonna have to find somebody in Europe who's there with a hard wallet because the hard wallet, you're talking about cold storage, it's a physical wallet, right? Um, otherwise, you would just transfer it to somebody who's over in Europe, right? There's nothing, you can send Bitcoin to anybody you want, but if you wanna actually have like a physical ledger in Europe, you're gonna to have to take that to Europe yourself or have somebody over there and put it on there for you. Okay, does that answer that question? Us? Okay. Hey, John. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of partly answers the question, thanks. Um, yeah, because I've got a physical wallet, so it's just a case of, you know, kind of uh, in Europe uh, and uh, having this, this kind of cash uh, in, in Africa. So just a way of kind of getting onto the Bitcoin through this cash without actually um, going through the banking system and getting charged an arm and a leg. So um, it, it's just mainly, you know, kind of getting this, the because uh, we, we've got Coinbase, sorry, we've got um, uh, coin, the Coinbase app. And uh, it's just knowing the, um, the intricacies of what's involved, kind of to understand exactly what sort of, you know, is there reliable? Because Coinbase is available in Africa, but can that be used in terms of just kind of bank transfer cash into buying Bitcoin and then just holding that as a physical asset in terms of as a physical wallet, if you like, mm -hmm. uh, rather than just leaving it on a virtual wallet? Yeah, so if you want to get to a physical wallet, I mean, the only challenge for you is going to be actually having somebody there with the physical wallet, right? Either it's going to be you or somebody you trust, right? Other than that, I mean, I could send Bitcoin to Europe. If Jones is on, I could send Bitcoin to Jones there. And I could do that in the next five minutes. So there's nothing to stop me from doing that, right? That, that can happen right now. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. you can also use your physical wallet without being there. And the way some other persons can't use it is um, to connect your wallet to your MetaMask. There's a way you can connect your um, ledger wallet to your MetaMask. And then you can do all the operations from your MetaMask. All you need to do is just to get the security key um, when you're making a transaction. Just get the key and type it in. So someone can be in America with your wallet. Yep. When you want to do a transaction, all you need from them is just the passphrase that you get when you click it on, and then you, you can use it from there. But some of the wallets you also have to be connected to your phone or to your computer directly before you can use it. That's why it's a cold storage. It has to be connected to your device. Thanks, thanks, that's okay. Okay, we got, uh, when do you plan to have another update? So we will have another live session where we have another topic. I've been trying to get the Odua guys to come on. I guess they're busy. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see if that next session comes up, but whenever we have interesting topics, we do uh, we do a live meetup, right? So, and maybe uh, Zuko will have plan to have you come back on and help with some market updates. We've got some good knowledge to share here, so we can plan to do this again also. Um, but uh, usually we have one every few months, at least, um, of the live meetups. And you'll see that if you're in the Telegram group, it's listed there. If you're on meetup.com, um, we send out updates on that as well. I would suggest joining the Telegram group. So we have pretty good, lively conversation going on all the time over there. 
Okay, I'll give you guys a link. I'm assuming most of you are probably in that group, but let me grab the link for it if I can. Hold on a second. Who knows what's going to come up here? All right, hold on. All right, well, I'll put it in the chat in a minute. Okay, let's see. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Kenny. Uh, there's all of Azuka's contact information. I am going to put some other stuff into the chat here. Okay, so let me stop that so I can actually get to my Telegram app. Okay, so I'm going to put the other contacts in. So if you haven't joined the Telegram group, go ahead and join it. We have great conversation happening every day in the Telegram group. Um, I'm assuming most of you are ready on the meetup group, but if you're not, you should join that at meetup.com. Um, and then you can also join and check out the conversations that um, Asuka has for uh, Point Pain. There's other projects going on there as well. So I said some very good market updates. Uh, and any other questions before we wrap up the session for today? Great. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining and join us on the Telegram group. Feel free to reach out, email, catch me on the meetup as well. Thanks, Azuka, for joining us. And uh, we, will, uh, we will see you guys next time. Yeah, thank you for having me, John. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.